Hi, Cleon the Day. Cleon back with a set of short videos, and you'll see here I'm about to do a very quick practice because I'll tell you what, these videos stress me out. And what I'm trying to do is a series of short videos for my shorts clips on my channel where I can knock these out in a minute. So let's see how I go. I've got a series of, I don't know, five or ten or a good handful of paintings here that uh, I'll go through. And as you can see, they are not the best paintings in the world, but at the end of the Day, they are little um, attempts of trying to get through this whole thing within a minute and this particular painting that I'm doing right now was inspired by the Blue Poles by Jackson Pollock and um, yeah I've already done a few quizzes and a couple of other little things on this video and it has a little bit of controversy because this particular painting was uh, inquired by the Australian government back in 1973 I think it was uh, for about oh gee what was it 1.3 1.7 million um, correct me if I'm wrong but around that price anyway uh, believe it or not it was probably a good investment to be honest because it's in the um, the art museum in Canberra now and it's worth oh, apparently 500 million dollars so yeah probably not a bad move but as you can see there was my attempt and now I'm just going to pull off the tape and uh, I did manage to get through that one in a minute and as you can probably see I did play around with it a little bit more after the minute had finished just by pushing a little bit more of that black through with uh, my little plastic spatula there but I was quite happy I got the bulk of it done within the minute and um, it did well I guess turn out all right I don't know if it's worth 500 million but hey if anyone wants to buy it it's up for sale As you can see there, again, I'm having a little practice because they really stress me out, but I find if I have all my paint ready to go and I have an idea of what I'm going to, or how I'm going to perform the actual painting, um, it makes it a lot easier by just quickly running through a quick run through before I actually start applying paint. And then I just bite the bullet, hit that uh, go button and away I go. And uh, yeah, it, it is really stressful. But you know, having a look back now, as you'll see, as I go along through the videos, see here I've got all the caps off. I've got the paints lined up there on the left, but what I've found is better is to, once I've got a roadmap in my head of how I'm going to go about the particular painting, I, um, as you'll see further down the line, I'll actually have the paints all ready to go. I'll have the caps off. Um, I do have a few blowouts, not every painting worked, but it, um, the majority worked out okay. Like I said, I can't say they're masterpieces, but, I, I do have a lot of fun and they really do force you to think very, very quickly. And because you don't have time to think, here I grabbed the wrong spatula, I should have grabbed the other one which was a lot stiffer and it would have pushed that black background through that white which is what I was intending. But again, I got it done within the minute so I can't complain. And another little surprise that I wasn't expecting is when I pull this tape off, it transforms the painting once again by giving it a nice little border and really finishing off the whole package. Now that last painting was probably worth millions as well. I can't remember exactly where I got the reference for that one. But this one here, I also found another reference photo and it was called Reversion, Style of Jackson Pollock, which I'm not sure that it is. It doesn't really uh, strike me as a Pollock, but having said that, I do like the way that yellow can't come through uh, the background of that black and that light blue and um, started to sound like I'm really loving my abstract, abstract paintings, which I don't really, but I kind of do, if you know what I mean. like. I, it's a hard one to explain. I am a realist. I love all the work that goes into these real, um, the realist paintings. Let's say getting tone, mixing um, all the uh, proportions, the symmetry, um, the composition. Whereas this is sort of just a slap hazard at the end of it all. Let's see what we end up with. But I must admit it is a lot of fun to paint. So I can see the addiction. Now addiction might sound like the wrong word, but I really think it is. Once you start, you really do get addicted to the whole process. It's quite fun. And I love it because those that don't have that skill set but love painting can have a crack at this and pretty much throw all sorts of different colors at your canvas, scrape, splatters, use all different painting techniques and pretty much see what sticks and see how it works out. 
Now, although this is not an ASMR video with all those sounds, I do like keeping the noise up because the sound of the lids going back on, the tapping on the canvas and all those sorts of things do sound great. But unfortunately, it's stinking hot here, hot here in Australia, so I've got the aircon going in the background. But just while I'm looking at this particular um, painting here, on the left hand side, you can see where I've actually doctored up some of them paintings and they do start to really stand out from the canvas. Now this particular painting is a minimalist painting and it really um, came out quite well, especially when I take the tape off. And having said that, it was just a branch that I seen on one of my screensavers off my computer. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna try that as a, uh, a quick video. And as you can see here, and all the videos are really start to turn up the pressure. It starts to turn up the pressure around the 50 to 55 second mark. And you don't think you're gonna make it. And next thing, bang, voila, you've got a, you've got a painting. And again, like I said earlier, I'm just so surprised at how good these little paintings come out once you've pulled the tape off. Now I'll leave it up to you whether you think this is a fail or not. I think it is a fail myself personally. Uh, I thought I'd try some tape and looking back, there's a lot of things I could have done differently. But once you hit that go button, I'm telling you, you just don't have time to think. And if you don't have it all, or let's say a good roadmap in your head as to where that you want that painting to go, or at least the direction, um, it's really, really difficult to think on the go. It's best to have it planned out in your head before you start. And it's around about here that I started to get into strife. I was trying to put blue on, then yellow, and of course, blue and yellow make green. So it just makes for an ugly, muddy green, which didn't really work or translate well onto the canvas. But as I said, you just don't have time to fix mistakes. You just gotta go, go, go. And if you think how you would have done things differently, please put them in the comments. I open to all sorts of suggestions and uh, critiques, so please don't think you're gonna offend me. I'd be more than happy to uh, get your idea or your take on the whole thing. So this one I've switched over to paper, which was a, I think 180 GSM, which is a good solid paper. It still will crink a little, little, uh, a little bit, but that's as why I've got the tape pretty much around the whole border. And as I've said earlier, and I'm just so surprised at how good they come out once you take that tape off. These do peel away the paper a little, but they're kind of like a postcard size. So I'm really loving uh, the effect of bring, um, once I get to this point where I'm pulling off the tape and, and producing that little border. Now this particular one, I was walking along one night and I seen um, an oleander bush hanging over the edge of a fence. So I thought, I'm gonna try and, uh, took a quick snap and thought, I'm gonna turn that into a little painting. I do a, have a full video on this one where I do a lot better, but this one was done in a minute. And as you can see, that last 50 seconds is when they start to come together. Done. No. And as you can see there, the paper is sticking to the tape a little, but uh, it doesn't really work, hurt the painting too much, and it still does make for a great border, even though that is actually dedicated painting tape. Again, I'm using the paper here. I did think about using canvas and cutting them up into little squares, but again, it does exactly the same thing. It will still crinkle. And while I'm looking at these little landscapes and floral paintings, I am actually demonstrating quite well the blending process. See, I've got the darker green down the bottom and I've got the lighter green. Now I'm gonna uh, shovel up a little bit of that white and I'm gonna blend that right back down over the painting. And because I don't have time to think about uh, the blending process so much, it actually works really, really well. Here I'm just using a little raw umber and then I'll just, as you can see there, white and pink together and I'm just gonna, it was a little bit bulky at the top but I really wanted to go the other way around. I wanted to bring the white down into the pink but it still worked out okay. So like I said, no time to think about it. You've just gotta done. go with what you've done.
Now, just about every time when I complete the one minute painting and I haven't pulled the tape off, I think, nah, this is no good. It hasn't turned out. And then I get to this stage where I'm actually pulling the tape off and I think, huh, actually that worked out all right. And because I haven't got time to think about them, uh, the texture's fantastic because I'm just piling on the paint, as you can see. Again, having a little practice before I actually start to apply paint because you just, oh, you don't have the time. Stresses me out, but by this stage, I've done quite a few under my belt or painted quite a few, and I'm starting to get rather confident. As you can see there, I've got the lids off and I'm just going for it. This particular painting, I'd wished I'd had given a little bit more of a thinner border, but it still turns out okay. Now a lot of the techniques are exactly the same as my long form videos where I go into much more detail, but here I've used a sponge, I'm using that for texture and a little bit of foliage down the bottom of the painting, then I'm just squeezing straight onto the canvas there with my uh, red, I think pyrrole red, and then some white as you'll see. And done. I was thinking in hindsight, I should have already had the back, black background painted in, but I'm so glad I didn't because you get to see a few different colors there that I'm throwing in the mix and, and also how I'm just blending this background with a little bit of that dark blue with the black. Done. Now have a listen to the audio while I'm pulling the tape off. No, it's just not happening tonight, is it? And again, here's another one that I thought was an absolute fail, but once I pulled the tape off, it surprised me and come out all right. Have a look at that nice texture and sheen. With this particular painting, I was really disappointed that I painted over this orange, as you'll see. As I was bringing it down the canvas or the paper, it was blending beautifully. And I thought, wow, this is gonna look great. And then as I brought it up, the pink was just too strong a pigment and it just painted over the top of that orange. So I did lose that for my background. And dabbing away there with my little sponge with a little raw umber. And while I was thinking about this particular painting, I did spend some time on a template, uh, cutting out a little butterfly image out of this uh, little butterfly stencil, I should say. So what do you think? Do you think that's a cheat? I'm not sure. So if you think it's a cheat, put it in the comments. But as I said, 
I don't really have a lot of time to think about it. So uh, I didn't think I'd be able to actually fashion out, be able to actually fashion out a butterfly during this painting. So here we go and voila, there's our little painting. So hopefully you enjoyed this little um, collection of one minute paintings and maybe you've learned something please like and share and if you think of somebody that might get some benefit out of these particular paintings please share me around i don't mind and no doubt youtube has already selected a video for you to go and watch next